Use a vise or suitable fixture to secure the press in the TS3065 U-joint press set. Insert the anvil and installer tip in the C-frame press. This will allow you to secure the axle shaft assembly to remove the snap rings. You will also be able to relieve pressure on rusty snap rings as needed. Tighten the press just enough to hold the shaft assembly. You don't want to put any excess pressure on the opposite side snap ring. Insert the separator yoke. This will allow you to remove one cap at a time and not damage the axle shaft. Trying to press the old joint out moving both caps with the installer tip will almost always result in bending the axle shaft yoke. If the axle shaft contacts the C-frame press, use something to support the other end of the shaft to square it up with the press. Now you can begin removing U-joint caps. Striking the axle shaft with a hammer can help relieve the tension on U-joint caps that do not want to come out. When the U-joint cross touches the axle shaft, take the assembly out of the press and remove the cap. Sometimes the caps are easily removed by hand and sometimes they get hung up a little bit on the seal. Use pliers or other creative methods to finish removing the cap. The cap should spin at this point. Once the first cap is removed, move on to the next one. Here the cap seal got stuck, so we'll just take a hammer and punch and gently massage it so we can separate the two axle shafts. Here's that pesky seal after removal. Clamping only on the yoke ears, remove excess rust from machine faces so the new snap rings have a good place to seat. A cheap or worn out file works good for this. We aren't trying to remove metal, just rust. Then use a round file to remove any burrs that may have been caused by the U-joint cross contacting the axle shaft. Using the installer tip for the press tool, install the new U-joint into the axle shaft. Use QU11262 U-joint kit for 2003 to 2009 axles or QU11263 U-joint kit for 2010 to 2013 axles. Both kits also contain new axle shaft slingers, hub bolts, and axle shaft nuts.
Pro tip, press the cap in about a quarter inch further than the snapping groove. This will allow the journals to support the rollers in this cap and the next cap you install. This greatly reduces the chance of cap rollers falling out of position and being crushed when pressing the next cap in. Here you can see the journals are supporting rollers in both caps. Install the snap ring in the first cap and press the second cap until the snap ring contacts the axle shaft. You should now be able to install the snap ring in the second cap. Repeat the previous steps to install the outer axle shaft. Be sure the U-joint snap rings will not contact any steps machined in the axle shaft. Use a pry bar to rotate the snap rings if needed. 